Did you ever wonder how much money you could make pulling a dry van driving for Creek Carrier? I want to tell you about 2023 and how it was for me. My name is Kevin. I'm a solo driver for Creek Carrier in the dry van division, and you're watching the joy of trucking. So let me tell you about a really good year. 2023 was actually the best year of my life for uh, earning money as an employee of a company. Now we, Tiny and I, owned a small business for for many years, and we made we made good money with that. But it's a different a different ball game when you own your own business. You got a lot of deductions and expenses. There's a lot of accounting stuff you do. I'm talking about driving for a company as an employee, and that goes for any other company I've worked for in my whole life. 2023 was the best year. Uh, some of the best paychecks I've ever had in my life. So let me tell you about it. But first of all, I get paid by the mile, cents per mile. So as long as the wheels are turning, I'm making money. So I get paid 63 cents per mile since April of 2023. Before that, it was 62 cents a mile. So I get an increase on my anniversary date. Now, the miles I got paid for was over 128,000 miles. And I gotta tell you, I, I did a little comparison because I, I keep track of my actual odometer miles. So for the year 2023, my odometer miles were over 130,000. So the difference was about 1,600 miles, which I find completely acceptable and understandable. Sometimes the the miles they pay you are for a very direct route, like you know, going through city streets and little towns and stuff like that. If you're on the interstate, you go around a town, that adds a couple of miles, right? Sometimes you go off route if there's a bad traffic jam or a storm, you take a little detour, add 20 miles to the trip, it's no big deal. It actually saves you an hour sitting in traffic, right? So there's always, there's always some small difference, but the mileage that I got paid was called, it's called practical miles. The way I got paid for Werner, before I came to Crete, I was a driver for a year at Werner and it was zip code miles. Difference was a lot bigger. You got paid just up to where the zip code started and then the next however many miles you went to, to the customer was on you. And the difference was, was usually more than 10%. So for the year I drove for Werner, 10% of the time I drove for free. That's a real peeve of mine. <laughs> but anyway, with Crete, not the same story. So I'm, I'm pretty happy about that. The other thing I gotta say is, if you do the math, right, 128,000 plus at 63 cents a mile, it came to over $80,000. That's that's just driving the truck. Holy smokes. <laughs> I'm impressed, I think that's pretty good. And if I think back on a lot of the jobs I've had, a lot of the people I've worked for, the, the stress, the dirty environments, the, the people you gotta work with, the people supervising you, lousy equipment, bad conditions, bad hours, I think I'm doing pretty good. I'm sitting here, I'm sitting here driving a truck. Most of the time I'm, I'm in charge of my time. I figure out how I'm gonna do the job. I've got really good support from the company. Nobody's nobody's looking over my shoulder, hounding me or pushing or causing a lot of stress and stuff like that. They're very supportive. So I appreciate that. I think this is a really good job and I'm, I'm kind of wondering why I didn't think of it sooner. <laughs> I gotta tell you, on top of the mileage pay, there's a lot of bonuses, a lot of extra stuff. The accessorial pay, include stuff like detention pay, shag pay, and now even inclement weather pay. That started this year. So like the detention pay uh, only kicks in after two hours. So if I go to a if I go to a customer's and I'm sitting there for two and a half hours, I put in a report and the first two hours I don't get anything. So it's kind of the kind of the norm, you know, like if you're getting loaded or things happen or whatever, it's it's just the, the nature of the business. But anything over two hours, you get $15 an hour. So even for that extra half an hour, I put in a report, I get seven and a half bucks. It's still important to, to make that report, even though that doesn't seem like a lot, a lot of money. You are also uh, reporting to the company that, that there was a, an unusual delay at the place and they might take it up with the customer if there's enough of these situations and, and they can try to resolve this thing in the future. So it's good to make that report. And you also get some compensation for that lost time. Shag pay, 
if you do if you do a short run you know 100 miles or something like that there's there's like a sliding scale so the shorter the run the more they they compensate you so that's a little bit extra uh, pardon me while I hydrate so it it doesn't happen very often I got to say there, there's not there's not a whole lot of shag runs that I that I do get it it might happen once or even twice a month you know it, I, you don't even notice it and it happened it did happen a lot more at Werner because they like to split the loads and they'll they'll, they'll give you a nice long run and then tell you to drop it somewhere and somebody else will take it 100 miles and somebody else will pick it up and and go some more and they're always shuffling and breaking up breaking up loads like that and that doesn't happen with Creed either you you pick up a load and and you're going if i do have to have to split a load or, or drop it off without taking it right to the customer it's usually because i request it like i'm i'm trying to get to my home time or there there's something you know i i got to stop somewhere and get maintenance on the truck whatever i can i can call them up and say look uh I, I can't take it all the way to the customer. The the time is not you know doesn't allow for that. And whatever, so they'll they'll have me drop it somewhere and somebody else will take it the rest of the way. But they don't they don't make me do it. You know, so that's a good thing too. The other thing, the inclement weather page has kicked in. So I've been shut down a couple of times now this year due to really bad weather, and they will compensate you for that now. So that's another thing. So there's little there's little extras that go on top of your mileage, and then we come to uh, quarterly bonuses. So if you do 30,000 miles in three months, you know, the year is broken up into three month uh, quarters. So if you do 30,000 in that three month quarter, you'll get bonus, and uh, it has to be safe miles, no tickets or infractions or anything like that. You know, gotta, you still, you gotta be safe miles, but you're getting paid a little extra because you were very productive. So they'll take all those miles that you did drive and give you four cents a mile for it. And it, it works out to like an extra paycheck. So every every three months you can earn an extra paycheck in bonus money. And then we got more bonus stuff. There is a 401k match. Now I got the 401k going in 2022. Then I put a lot more in in 2023. They'll contribute some to that as well. And then after you've uh, done your first year and you get into your next year you qualify for the profit sharing so at the end of the calendar year they'll look at, at all your miles and, and if you qualify for the profit sharing you get four cents a mile for the miles you drove for the whole year so this is not your your quarterly bonus now you, you could earn the quarterly bonus every quarter and get four cents for every mile but then they do this profit sharing thing and it's millions of dollars and they split it up between the drivers. That money uh, I didn't get until 2024. So I can't really say that's that's part of my pay for 2023, but I did earn that for all the miles I drove in 2023. And that money, they put it into your into your retirement fund when you, when you sign up for this 401k and you set up an account and you have money coming off your check every week that goes into your 401k. So take the profit sharing and, and stick it into that. At uh, four cents a mile, it came to over five grand extra money for the for the year. So there's another bonus that comes up. Now the last thing I wanted to talk to you about was the referral bonus. So they have the referral bonus program where uh, if somebody joins the company and they use your referral code, you know, like your driver code when they sign up, when they finish orientation, you get five hundred dollars. Then every mile they drive for their first year you get one cent per mile so I have to say uh, this is also a really good program that the company has they they are constantly recruiting and trying to get more drivers and this is a good way for for the drivers with the company to go out and, and try and get more drivers to come over you know and we have we have a, an advantage Tanya and I because we have the YouTube channel that you're watching now a lot of people will watch the channel and then decide to come to Crete and use our our referral code so that is another bonus that was on top of the money I made for you know accessory and bonus pay and quarterly bonuses and driving mileage and stuff like that and if you you put it all together we were up in the six-figure zone so more than a hundred thousand dollars for the the year 2023 and I really want to thank all the people that used our referral code 
that's just a small thing that you did, but it was very thoughtful and very kind to you, and we really, really appreciate it. It, it really helps us to kind of offset a lot of the costs and a lot of the time that goes into doing the YouTube channel. It, it, it makes it worth it. What really, what really is our motivation with the with the channel though is just just showing people what it's like, you know, being a truck driver and trying to trying to give people information so anybody who's new into the industry they can they can see you know the stuff that I I screw up and <laughs> the lessons I learned we try to pass on so it's a little bit educational too so I hope you you enjoy it but you also learn something from it and that's really really what we're trying to do with this. But we really, really appreciate the referral uh, bonus, and it's because of the, the drivers that come on board. That's actually, uh, when I started with Crete, I ran into a guy at a, at a distribution center out in California. I was driving for Werner, and he jumped out of his truck, and he came over, and he was talking about Crete, and he handed me a, a little information on it, and uh, his, his wife was with him. So uh, Tanya really appreciated her input. You know, because she she had questions, and you know, what's it like as a wife? Now, she wasn't a she wasn't a co-driver; she was just a passenger. You know, so when when I came to Crete, I used that guy's code. There was no skin off my nose, and I hope it it benefited him, and and he earned it, really did. So it's really good that the company does all these extra things, you know, to to add to your pay. And I mean, I've I've got friends who who work in different industries, and they make bonuses. You know, the the big Christmas bonus and the big productivity bonus, and this and that and stuff like that. But I've never I've never worked for a company where I've I've gotten bonuses and extras like this and stuff like that. So I really appreciate it. So thank you, Crete. If you're watching, <laughs> we appreciate it. So uh, that's all I got to say today. And I hope you learned something. Hit the subscribe button. Give us a thumbs up, put your comments down below, and ring that notification bell, and we'll see you down the road. Bye for now. And that referral code is S-L-O-K-E-B, all capital letters. That's right, I'm the slow cat. Hmm.